My first year on campus was a glorious holiday. I wasn't involved in carnival, I wasn't a carnival person, you know, but I um, went to all the fets and never missed a fet on campus. I always like a line. <laughs> <coughs> But I had a method, I would do my work first and then go to fit. So tell me about 1968, what do you remember 1968, then? around that time, was when we were um, sort of really becoming politically aware. And um, the black power thing was coming home to us. We were a little late compared to the United States, but then we began to hear about Malcolm X and... Um, even, I think Martin Luther King had come here too. And also, we were so taken up with Haile Selassie because while we were here, Haile Selassie came on campus, and that was an occasion. What do you remember about Absolutely. that? Absolutely. I remember when he spoke on campus, me making sure that I got a seat very close to the front, way up front. And all the front seats were taken up, uh, much to the annoyance of the um, hierarchy, by the Rasta women. They were all lovely, dressed in white, head tied and whatnot, right? And they brought their children. And when they would be, when he was talking, they would lift them up and they see the face of God. It was just an amazing, it was, it, it was an experience that I will never forget. And um, he was very, very small. He was a short man. <clears throat> and um, he had his nephew or somebody who answered him that was a good looking young man. So I was looking at him too. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about um, what you remember of Rodney being on campus. Rodney was very dynamic, nice guy, quiet, soft-spoken, right? Talked to everybody, very um, always willing to teach, you know? He had a lot of things to tell us, that, you know, let's talk about Marcus Garvey, about racism. He was very, that was one of his main things. I got the impression, I may be wrong, it's anti-Jamaican government, share and those guys. So, um, he was saying a lot of things on campus that, that I guess annoyed Shearer and these people, and they decided to get him out. And that's when we, we, you know, we had the um, strike. Did you go to a lot of his lectures? You remember his lectures, his talks? I didn't go to a lot of them. I went to, because remember, that was a busy time for us too, because I think I was doing second and year at that time. So that, that is not a time when I could have been running around, you know. I did get to a few of them and then I had a lot of friends who were um, non-medical that I, that you know, I would go and chat to them like Daryl Crossgill, you know, and, and, and that group we could sit down and chat and talk. Were you aware that <clears throat> he was talking off campus as well as on? I, I don't remember, I don't recall. What was his impact on you personally? Were you one of the ones? I had I I became very black conscious at that time. Much, to, um, you know, not not many people like that. You know, like when you go back home to China, the parents didn't like it. The family didn't like it. I remember going back home and playing one time in my town. Oh, relative of mine who was a doctor, and he said, "What is wrong with you?" <laughs> this was because of your hair? I had a huge afro. My mother didn't like it, my father didn't like it, nobody. And the response on the on the wards or in the in On the wards medicine? well I think they, they got alright with it. Professor still used to feel up my hair every day coming he run his fingers through my hair. You remember that hair? Well who told you to cover your hair? Oh, <laughs> Professor Anderson. Maybe Sanderson mm -hmm. in the operating room. She said, Fuck it. So how did you come to be in the march on the 16th of October? Everybody was going and, that, and I, I, I mean I was incensed by what had happened too and I was part of it and got in there and it was, it was a long march on the way we got tear gas. Did you go by Jamaica House? I think we did. I can't recall but I think we did because I stayed in from, the, from beginning to end. You know, I came back up to campus. Do you remember how you got back up to campus? Walk. We walked back. And do you remember what time that was? No, I don't recall. And it was daytime. It was, might have been after lunch, four, three, four o'clock or something. So it, I don't recall the time exactly. Mm -hmm. Were there a lot of other students? Were students uh, sticking together? 
Um, yeah, there were a lot of students. I don't recall that there were a lot of medical students, but there were a lot of um, people who lived on campus. There were a lot of us. And your experience on the road? I wouldn't say it was like a carnival, but we were all excited and incensed too, and you know, and put the police a little scared because they, they were police or, and I don't know if they were soldiers, or they were all over the place. And, um, you know, we were sort of banding together as a group, you know. Red gong? Did we have gongs on? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. And were you among the ones that were tear gassed? I was tear gassed. What's your recollection of that? Oh, it's awful. We had, um, I, think we, I think we walked with towels or washcloths, so we put them on our faces and so on, you know? But I, I, I didn't get it full, full blast, but I did have a little, really, there was a little effect, you know. And do you remember where you were tear gas? Where you were when you were tear gas? No, I don't. Does it all kind of roll into all one? All into, roll into one big deep. That's many years ago, you know, girl. Many, many thousands of years ago. What does it mean to you looking back? Well, I always say that some of my happiest times were on campus. It was a period of my life that I enjoyed immensely. And that day was a day when, a very significant day when you did something that you would not normally have done. You, you, you took part, you participated, you, you, it, it was, it was almost, it was crazy. You know, it, you, you, didn't, you didn't know that you could do that, you know. And you felt good about yourself because you were doing something that was good and worthwhile.